Hi everyone, welcome to Kel's Kitchen. My name is Kel and today we are making paneer curry. This is a great dish um, and it is vegetarian. It could be vegan if you subbed out some of the ingredients, um, but today I'm making this version. I have two onions here and I am going to cut them in half, take off the tops and peel them and then dice them up pretty fine. You want them to be a little bit smaller than bite sized. These are going into a pot over medium heat with about two or three tablespoons of butter and you want to put the lid on and let those sweat. This beautiful thing is paneer. It's honestly one of my favorite additions to curry. Um, it is this hard, squeaky cheese, sort of similar to mozzarella or halloumi, um, but it is Indian and it doesn't have a whole lot of seasoning. Um, I love this cheese. <laughs> um, if you don't want cheese you or you can't find paneer, you could always use some, um, some tofu, but I seriously recommend finding this if you can. I'm going to cut these up into little cubes about the same size as the, um, as the onions. <laughs> um, and, uh, those are going in. Um, oh, if you didn't want to use butter as well, you could use some, uh, you could use some, um, <laughs> coconut oil. All right, now I've got some ginger. Um, and I'm going to peel this and chop it up super fine. You want to mince this until there's no ginger pieces left, pretty much. Because, um, uh, you know, as much as I love ginger as much as the next person, but um, I certainly don't want a big mouthful of it in my curry. <laughs> All right, so paneer is going in, and the ginger is going in, um, along with about, uh, I'd say, a tablespoon and a half of curry powder, um, but you can adjust this if you want more or less. Um, and the one I'm using is not spicy, but... Uh, you could have spice in there if you want. This is also about two cloves of garlic. Um, and mix that all around before we get back to a little bit more prep. These are some beautiful, super sweet tomatoes that I found at the farmer's market. Or my mom found them for me, but um, they were at the farmer's market. I'm going to cut these up just a little bit smaller than my paneer pieces and they are gonna go in as soon as they're done because what's in here doesn't really need to cook it just needs to heat through um once the onions are cooked and um now I've got some heavy cream if you would rather use something vegan, you could always sub in some um, coconut milk, but I like heavy cream. Um, also add some salt and pepper into taste and then mix this up super well. You, at this point, it would be good to add in about a cup or so of frozen peas, but I forgot to film that part, so um, I'm sorry about that. And it's ready to serve. Thank you so much for joining me. This has been Kel's Kitchen, and we made paneer curry. 
See you in the next episode.